we stopped last night, it is absolutely surrounded by field after field after field. Beautiful greens and yellows. And it was a little village called Montills. It was handy for a stopover, weren't it? Right. Not much to it, but it did us. And let us get some rest and onwards to our next place of Burritz. I can't wait for Burritz. The size of this, what is it, a river? river yeah. It's like a bloody sea. So this is the entrance to Bear Ritz where we're going to be stopping tonight. Uh, we have an air. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we can get on there. The sea's just over the tops of those houses there. Just wish the sun had come out. <laughs> just us to get all the way here and there's no sun. We've got some room. Mm. I think it's got about 36 spaces. And you can stop for four of the spaces. There's loads of spaces. You can stop for 48 hours at this one as well, and it's all for 12 euros. There's no barrier for that, no? Yeah, there is a barrier. You've got a magic screen. I'll let you do that, but I'll be not on your feet, please. So. No. But I'll get some on my feet. So we've arrived in Baritz and the first place yeah. we've stopped. Where, did you expect anywhere else apart from a Chinese? Cakes Pizza. and coffee. Come and see what we've got. Yeah. So Mark's picked this. It's a nice big cake. I've got a coffee. Liam's in there now getting some as well. So yeah, it's as you can see behind us, very overcast, spitting yeah. with rain. Forecast is supposed to be better tomorrow. Um, we're out on our scooters and we're going to go and have a look around Biritz. Is that how you say it? Biritz. Biritz. B-I-A, isn't it? B-I-A-R-I-A. -A -R -R -A -A it's like Warwick, yes. isn't it? Z. Yeah. Surf is up, but the rain is coming out. Can you see the surfers behind us? Nutters, that's what so, they are. Yeah, Absolute sea's, nutters. The sea's probably all right, isn't it? It's not too, I mean, the, it, the air's warm enough, isn't it? It's, it's really 18, warm, 19. but it's raining. But you don't care Drizzly. when it's warm, as long well, as it's not freezing cold. It's like drizzly, isn't it? Yeah, but who cares? We're on holiday. Smart reckons this is just like Scarborough. <laughs> Scarborough wishes. I'm loving this house. I don't know if you can see it right over there, but it's built into the rocks. There is something like that down in Cornwall in Newquay. But that is absolutely stunning. The views that that house must have. As you can see, they're all still waiting for the surfs up, dude. All just hanging around for the waves to come in. It looks cold, guys, but believe you me, it's lovely and warm. I just wish them dark clouds would lift and we'd have some sunshine. I'm sure it'll come. Now this has baffled us all while this is like this. Can you see this up here? And there's a house right at the top. I don't know what all that stonework's all about. You might think it's for reinforcement, but it's very strange. Imagine living right up there. So come and look at this review. Over there, that's me lady. Place called my lady. Yes, my lady. Uh, it's like a little town that's called Milady. Yes, Milady. All the hotels are called Milady. And that's Milady Beach, and in the distance is a surf school, and there's everything over there. It's uh, cracking. And right in the distance, uh, it, it carries on down there. And then, over here, as you can see, we've got an house on like a point. It's like a, it's like an headland, if you will, if you can see it. And it's, uh, I mean, it does look quite new, but to be honest, it's, it's probably not. And it's, uh, it's like built into a sand cl sandstone cliff. Uh, it's a bit rougher weather today, so there might be a little bit of wind noise on this, but... Um, yeah. Look at the size of that there. And it's actually into the cliff. Right, so... We're at the... Uh, uh, we're back at the van, we've been up for a quick look around on the scooters and it uh, started raining so we've come back. But I'll just show you from this area where we're parked up, how close it is to the sea. 
So I'm going to put this camera on my scooter and we're going to have a look. <laughs> see that's a beach and it's about a minute away on the scooter probably a couple of minutes walk so uh, yeah it's uh, spot on it's really 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 nice beach and the seas they're clean too in and that's about as much as you'll get from me. But you just can't, you can't resist this view, it's absolutely gorgeous. What a difference a bit of sun makes. It's only about half nine in the morning, isn't it? it's quarter past nine, so we're going to head down there and get some food now. Yeah, let's go and see what the shops have to bring us in the town. Come out there, look. Devil's Arch. What, you said a devil's arse? Yeah. But we're on the point, aren't we? It's like a, a point there. Yeah, we're heading, it's like a pier that's jutting out. So we're heading for up that furthest point there. I think it's got a, yeah. is it Mother Teresa or something yeah. on top of it? I reckon in the distance over there, that's the Pyrenees Mountains. Can you see right over there? That, that's likely to be Spain there, because we're only 20, 30 miles from the border of Spain. So that's about that, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, well, I found out what that statue is up there, Mark. Yeah. Looks Just like, like you waiting for a Chinese. Not even this fish is at Blackpool, are they? Oh, oh, Mark! <laughs> oh my God, fetch it down, no, I can't caught. Will you caught the seagull on the drone? I think so. Oh, I see her again. <laughs> you nasty pasty. Mental. That's terrible. I've got a bit of that anyway. I can't do a fly away. But... Did you actually get it? I think I might have done at the end. That's scary. That's three times they've gone away and three times they've come back as soon as you put it up. So that's the nasty seagulls of Baritz. Don't fly your drones here. So just coming through the tunnel now on the other side of this statue. Get away from the nasty birds. Never know, not like it. You see the statue above us. It's like a, it's like a pier, if you will. And right at the end, you've got that gorgeous statue. You've got these rock formations on the other side. They've got crosses on them. Obviously, something's happened here. I'm presuming some kind of shipwreck. But look at that sea.
You love him laugh, Mark. Okay. You love him laugh. It's like foam, isn't it? Look, like foam, like a jacuzzi thing. Are you going for a dip? You see foam all the way down, it's staring up from that rock over there. It's way from the That right in the distance there, that's another big massive beach they've got over it. Yeah, there's a few in here. Have you got over being attacked now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Nasty, aren't they? You can walk up there look, on that rough piece, can't you? Nasty, aren't they? Yeah. Those yeah, birds yeah. like it. Yeah, I think they'd hit it. If you carry on with it, hit it, wouldn't they? Because they do hit things, don't they? Well, I thought they were going to just bat it and just drive, I would say, mm. drive off with it, fly off with it. I wonder if that's why the military came down. Probably. Protect us from the seagulls. Mm. Oh! Fighter jets. That's weird, and we've just seen about eight military men with machine guns walk past us as well. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Look at this board here, look. They're selling Peppa Pink. Peppa Pink. Oh god, don't fetch your kids here. <laughs> and Pesto in Love. In who? In Love. Pesto in Love? Mm, 13 euros. This seems to be like a little square it's we really found good, where it? they have all the restaurants and it's cafes. It's getting exciting now, isn't it? It's getting exciting, what, because it's involving food? And the sea's just over there. Mark's off. Can't keep up with him now. He's looking at every menu going. What you found now? Russian coffee. Russian coffee? That's beer. That's unbeers. You want a um breakfast? Some cheese on toast or something. Cheese on toast. That's just uh, coffees and stuff, isn't it? Well, where, where you can get something to eat. <laughs> like sausage butty, don't they? You want the sausage butter? Class. That's just drinks there, it would appear, isn't it? Just yeah. There's some more places up here. Pretty, isn't it? Never been here before, have you? You can tell Florida. You all get it? You all excited, aren't you? Look at how we've done the menus and they've got a Cocktails, desserts, nice plus. Mm. Wow. <laughs> 16 euros for a burger and chips. Not cheap, guys, it's not cheap. Found something to eat. I've got a latte. Lattes are very small in this country. You yeah. normally get a big thing, don't you? What have you got? Uh, hot dog. Panini hot dog with cheese and sauce. Can so I that's have... like a sausage butter, then, isn't it? You want right it, isn't it? Me, yeah. And I got a panini paolette, which is a chicken panini. And up there. Up there's where? A big, there's a big bear. A what? Oh, oh yeah, can you see the bear on the balcony? It sees everywhere we go, followed by bears, isn't it? Mm. It's a really nice little place, this. Mm. Very quiet for first thing in the morning. Mark's happy he's got his sausage butter in France. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Pretty cheap, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. This panini is bigger than my head. It's huge. Long, huh? How are you doing with yours? Right. I can see someone finishing mine off. Mm. Nice, good club. There's some little sparrows here. Oh, where have they gone? They've gone camera shot. Oh, God, pigeons here, that's why. And the little sparrows actually take food out of your hands. <laughs> Wow, that's mad, isn't it? Mm. They wouldn't do that in England, would they? Mm. People feeding them. Mm. Got that one, there we go. I think that's a baby one. Mm. Come on. So we're just uh, unfortunately walking around looking at some of the shops, it's 20, probably 20 degrees now, it's gone quite warm, sun's out, blue sky, and we're still in Berit. Well Lisa's looking at every shop she can, and I'm sweating because it's getting quite warm. 
Yeah, it's worth taking care to spend anything. Yeah, it's nice here. Although, I, I will say, that some of the shops, if not a lot of the shops, are very, very, very expensive. Polaroid camera mark, an old fashioned one. Look yeah. how much it is there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it is something that is extremely expensive. So very, like, very expensive. We, we walked up like a street, like a designer clothes street, wasn't it? So. Well, no, all the dresses and things, like 100 euros. Yeah. Expensive, uh, isn't it? Chocolate at shop. Chocolate. They're very smart. big on the chocolate and stuff. You probably don't think you see in there all the chocolate. Uh, we'll carry on walking around. We'll have to head back to our van that in the air at uh, about two o'clock. So we'll buzz back down the scooters because our ticket runs out. So we're going to pay you stop one more night, and we're off in the morning. And we're going to Spain, aren't we, tomorrow? Yeah. Just nipping over to Spain, like you do. Well, we're out on the border here anyway. This is like, I think, the last main sort of town, city, whatever it is, before the border over the Pyrenees to Spain. So we'll uh, we'll crack on and uh, I'll see if I can find somewhere to get a beer as well. It's electric, isn't it? What is it? It's an electric bus. It's an electric bus, isn't it? Ah. It carries about six passengers. <laughs> well, it's worth that, isn't it? <laughs> get six passengers on it. You can't carry the weight, can they? Because uh, they call them Arthur's Mark. Arthur. Arthur Bus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thai street food over there. What? Yeah, the shops, ladies, they're um, selling normal stuff, just normal everyday clothes. Stuff what you get from. Primark, Primark for about two ninety nine. They're about sixty euros. Sixty nine euros for a little it's dress. All designer stuff, but no, that isn't that. That weren't designer stuff. I'm not into all that designer stuff. And what that's about over there, that woman. Like she's got a migraine. Probably looked at all prices in shops. So we go up here. Yeah, let's go up here. Well. Welcome to the beach. We've finally found it, haven't we? Yeah. Look at that for That's a beach. Big waves are yeah, there's a few dudes surfing over there. But yeah, that was worth the wait. What a magnificent beach that is. Stunning, isn't it? Sun's out. There's not a lot of people out today, only a few. But you don't want an overpacked beach because it gets a bit crammed in. Stretches as far as the eye can see to the lighthouse. So, what are you thinking about France, and Mark? It's all right, isn't it, down here? Sunday's... South France is better, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very. Well, this is like south on the. This is on the Bay of Biscay, isn't it? So yeah. So that's the opposite side to where normal South of France is like the Mediterranean. Right. So. Well, yeah, all right, happy as Larry here. Yeah? Getting your tan on. Where do you go scooting to? Just up there, travel car woman on the beach. Oh really? Right. Oh yeah. No, I just went up there. It's just like it and it ends there, that's it. So. It's an absolutely sure. stunning beach this, isn't it? Gorgeous. Let's hope it's um, one of many more that we found. Stood looking at these um, waves crashing against the rocks. And it reminds Mark of our screen. It reminds me of a coffee, I'm gagging for a drink. It's calming down a bit now actually, but it's really wild a minute ago. That one you can see the Pyrenees Mountains over there in the distance, now it's clearer. Coffee. That reminds me of coffee. So today we are leaving Berit. So that's us leaving France and heading for Spain and Santander. We have an air waiting for us, fingers crossed. It's a free air yeah. uh, and it's right on the beach again. We do like a beach air, don't we? Yeah, right. <laughs> Santander. Yeah, up to now, coming from England, we've avoided all tolls. Uh, but we've decided to go on the toll road today because it's not a very long, not not far away, I'd say about 200 miles. It's about 240 kilometres from uh, Burrow. 
Norwich to Santander. The problem is, is if we avoid tolls, even like four and a half hours, and on tolls it's two and a half, isn't it? So yeah, so we need to get there to get the air, because today is Friday, and we've got a funny feeling like it is Friday in England, everyone goes out for the weekend, so I'm just going through a tunnel. <laughs> So hoping we'll catch some time up, um, we're just using the tolls. We've gone through three already and it's uh, come to just under £7. Seven euros. Uh, seven euros. So um, Liam was explaining it's the actual village that you go through that sets the price of the toll. So fingers crossed that they're, only, they're all about one or two euros each and we don't hit many. But yeah, so we're heading for Santander today another seaside resort and we'll show you what it's like when we get there. And that's our final destination on this trip and we're not going to go any further than that. We've decided that's it because obviously we've got to drive back yet so we have to have a final de destination. And that's yeah. 